Mazda is betting there's a market for both a zippy, well-handling midsize SUV with three rows and a similar one without, even if the need isn't obvious. The CX-70 caters to those who enjoy a sporty drive on winding roads and need ample trunk space without folding any seats. The 2025 Mazda CX-70 surprised everyone at its early 2024 debut. Instead of the smaller, CX-60, based vehicle expected, it turned out to be a facelift twin of the CX-90, but without the third row of seats. We tested both the 340 horsepower 3.3 liter version and the 323 horsepower plug-in hybrid to see if the CX-70 differs significantly from its three-row sibling. Mazda representatives are evidently weary of justifying the CX-70 as a separate model rather than a trim level of the CX-90. It might be a strategic SEO decision. There are two unique customers for three-row versus two-row, explains Dan Aguilar, Mazda's product manager of vehicle line planning. We want to be on the list for both. Focusing on the CX-70 itself, it's a large midsize SUV with a 122.8-inch wheelbase, prioritizing second-row legroom and cargo space. The CX-70 features Mazda's typical SUV shape, with more curves and less angularity than the boxy design seen on the road, giving it an attractive stance from most angles. From the back, it looks a bit bulky, but that's a common trait. The CX-70 sports a different lower front bumper than the CX-90, and all its trim pieces are blacked out in either gloss or matte. CX-70 buyers can choose from two powertrains available in three different horsepower options. The turbocharged 3.3-liter inline-6 comes in two variants, a standard version with 280 horsepower and 332 pound-feet of torque, and a high-performance version with 340 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. At the top of the price range is the plug-in hybrid, which combines an electric motor and a 14.8 kilowatt-hour battery pack with a naturally aspirated 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine, delivering a total of 323 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. The base turbo engine offers three trim levels, preferred, premium, and premium plus. The Turbo S and the PHEV are available only in premium and premium plus trims. All powertrains are paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission, and every CX-70, including the PHEV, features fully mechanical all-wheel drive. We drove the top-tier Premium Plus trims of both the Turbo S and the PHEV, each loaded with luxurious features. These models boast Nappa leather seats, quilted in the Turbo S, which are 8-way adjustable, heated, and ventilated. Though they could use a bit more padding, the seating position is comfortable for drivers of various heights. The thick, leather-wrapped steering wheel frames a 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster that adapts to different driving modes, sport, off-road, towing, and an EV mode for the PHEV, and can be lightly customized via steering wheel buttons. A head-up display mirrors much of the same information. Mazda remains committed to a non-touchscreen interface, opting instead for a rotary dial and physical volume knob on the console occupying potential storage space where passengers might rest their hands. However, the infotainment screen is touch-sensitive when using Apple CarPlay, making the rotary dial seem like a personal quirk of the design team. There is also wireless smartphone connectivity for added convenience. Mazda's most renowned car in the post-rotary era is undoubtedly the Miata. It's easy to imagine the engineers and designers trying to infuse some of that Miata magic into their larger family vehicles. In the CX-70, this influence is evident not only in the bright red leather interior option, inspired by the 100th Anniversary Special Edition MX-5, but also in its driving dynamics. While it's not meant for slalom competitions, the CX-70 showcases Mazda's expertise in car handling. Both versions of the CX-70 feature well-weighted steering, ample power, though both engines are quite loud when pushed and a firm chassis that maintained stability as we navigated the mountains above Palm Springs. On the dirt roads around Lake Hemet, the CX-70 handled bumps well enough to justify its off-road mode, though it's not designed for extreme off-road adventures. Our main issue with the CX-70, inherited from our experience with the CX-90, is the 8-speed transmission, which often lags behind, especially outside of sport mode. When you let off the accelerator briefly and then press it again, 
such as when a light changes or during casual cornering, the transmission can be slow to respond, frantically downshifting to catch up. Mazda has reportedly retuned the transmission since the CX-90's launch, but it could still use further refinement. Despite this, the transmission is not a deal-breaker, especially considering how well the CX-70 performs other essential SUV tasks. The second row offers 39.4 inches of legroom, ensuring comfortable rides and easy installation and removal of child seats. The rear cargo area, free from a third row, provides 40 cubic feet of space with the rear seats up and 75 cubic feet with them down. Folding the seat backs is a push-button action, although raising them requires manual effort. The cargo area is essentially the same as in the CX-90, but without the third row, Mazda was able to include hidden underfloor storage, offering additional space benefits for the two-row configuration. For those planning to tow with the CX-70, the PHEV is rated for 3,500 pounds, while the Turbo and Turbo S versions can tow up to 5,000 pounds when equipped with the Mazda tow package. This package, costing between $700 and $900, is essential for activating the tow mode, which includes a useful bird's eye camera view for hitching and can enhance the coupling between the front and rear axles based on speed and load for improved stability on the road. The CX-70 isn't exactly a Miata in SUV form, but it is sportier than any other similarly sized SUV in its price range. Four new families, empty nesters, and hobbyists with lots of gear, the CX-70 provides ample space without sacrificing driving pleasure. The CX-90 offers similar benefits once you fold down the third row. 2025 Mazda CX-70, a driver's delight with a packaging puzzle. The 2025 Mazda CX-70 is a new player in the midsize SUV arena, carving out a niche for drivers who prioritize performance and upscale feel over maximum passenger capacity. Sharing its platform with the three-row CX-90, the CX-70 offers a compelling option for those who want a more dynamic driving experience without the need for a third row. Thrilling performance. Under the hood, the CX-70 70 boasts a turbocharged 3.3L inline six engine, available in two states of tune. The standard version delivers a healthy 280 horsepower and 332 lbft of torque, while the higher output variant pushes things up to 340 horsepower and 369 lbft of torque. Both engines pair with an eight-speed automatic transmission and standard rear-biased all-wheel drive. This combination translates to a thrilling driving experience with sharp handling and a satisfying surge of power. However, reviewers at Car and Driver noted a slight sluggishness in the transmission's behavior. The CX-70 also offers a plug-in hybrid option for those seeking a balance of performance and fuel efficiency. The PHEV combines a 2.5L four-cylinder engine with an electric motor and battery pack, delivering a combined output of 323 horsepower and 369 lbft of torque. With a full tank of gas and a full charge, the CX-70 PHEV boasts an impressive estimated range of 490 miles. Luxurious interior with a caveat. Mazda is known for its focus on driver-centric design and premium materials, and the CX-70 is no exception. The interior features a sleek, sophisticated layout with high-quality finishes. The optional red Nappa leather adds a touch of sporty elegance.